Hey y'all, it's Gord, your hurting hippie, and welcome to medicate the bleep out of that. Yeah, I, I don't like to swear. I'm not a, a person who uses a lot of profanity, but sometimes words are best said that way. My only swear word is hate. I don't like that word because I don't believe in hatred. Anyways, that's total. That's totally a different story. What's this all about? Well, my son has gone home. This was my weekend without him, but he spent an extra night. Uh, he's back home with his mom, and I'm in a lot of pain. We've been talking about it in Hippie Talks. Uh, comments have been great, and thanks all of you for, for your well wishes. <coughs> But I thought I'd bring you along this trip with me. Uh, a trip of pain, a day of gain, I hope. I am working on get getting rid of this. So, a little bit of backstory. About a week ago, probably at the, uh, at the, I was going to say family reunion, at the baby shower. A lot of family around did a few things that, you know, lifted my grandchild up and carried her around for a bit. Did some things that I think either, I remember one point, I don't remember what I was doing, but I felt a really sharp twinge in my shoulder and it's been hurting since and it's been getting worse. Uh, to the point today, I had a shower, didn't even wash my hair, just got it wet and I had to brush it with my other hand which <laughs> was a joke in and of itself. But I decided, and, and so the, it's been getting worse, and I told my ex yesterday, hey, once you get Pasha, uh, I need to look after my shoulder. I'm in pain. I don't want to go to the doctor during the week because I'm busy with Pasha. Uh, but he had to stay last night, so I decided today once he leaves at first this morning I was toying with the thought of going to the hospital but if I go to the hospital they always deal with the worst cases first by the time they get to me I'm going to be 80 so you know sitting around the hospital all day long just for them to say you pulled a muscle you've got a torn ligament something like that something they can do nothing about and then they will tell me but we'll give you a prescription for some kind of oxycotton or something to relieve the pain and i'll say no thank you so what's the sense yes maybe i ripped something and maybe x-rays might show something but i thought one last attempt at looking after it naturally before I get involved with medicine really don't care to get involved with medicine so like this said medicate the F out of it so what am I doing well first things first I have a fibromyalgia patch right here this I just put it on it is pumping 40 milligrams of CBD into me over the next 24 hours but right away, it's been on for about 20 minutes. I'm feeling it immediately. It's helping. It's calming the shoulder and it's warming the area. And it's getting my own anxiety about the pain down. Next, I... <laughs> trying to think. What a laugh. Next, about a half an hour ago, I took a half of a 100 milligram THC pill. I haven't taken edible THC in a very long time. Some of it I put because what it was was a 100 milligram THC pill cut in half. Because it was cut in half some of the THC had already melted. I put that under my tongue and then swallowed it. So I got some of it immediately. The rest is going to come in about an hour and a half. So that has not really fully hit. Also, the moment the boy left, I had my first big toke of the day. 
now I'm with you guys. That's the only medication I've done so far. And I'm in a lot of pain. I'm trying today to not use this arm at all. I've moved, I'm mousing with my left arm. That's not too hard, but I used to, in fact, I used to use the left all the time at work because I had terrible carpal tunnel in the right. So I'm used to that. But I'm trying to drink my coffee with my left. Not as much strength in a heavy cup of coffee. And I'm about to have a talk with you. And I have no choice. It's a two-handed job. So friends, I'm going to hit this hard with Electric Lemon G. It's a really, really wonderful wax. Of course, you're not going to get, ah, you got a fairly good focus on that. Electric Lemon G, it is about an 80% sativa, I think, and it's so citrusy, and it's supposed to be very, very good for pain. It's my first THC dab today. Cheers, friends, and join along with me, please. I bet you anything YouTube deem. Uh, age restricts us, but because I said join. And I didn't hold that. I don't hold my tokes. We'll get into that another time. And we have talked about it before. I love it when I get somebody, some troll on the internet. Hey, you don't even hold your tokes. You don't know how to smoke. I love people telling me what to do when I'm 57 years old and I've been doing this stuff since I was 11. That's, you do the math. <laughs> Next, I have some Gorilla Glue 4. This is going to counteract the sativa that I just had because, yes, definitely this afternoon I'm going to spend a fair amount of time laying down whether I sleep or not because I've got to get this resolved. This is the side I sleep on, and I can't sleep on it anymore because it hurts. So I can only sleep on my back, and I'm not sleeping well. But cheers, let's have some Gorilla Glue. Already, just with that one token, that one dab and, and my THC pill, I've taken more today than I usually take before five. Gorilla Glue 4 has a very unique sweet chocolate taste, but with a little bit of chemical or spice. Kind of goes back and forth with that. It dabs nicer than it rolls. It's very sticky. So very quickly, the joint just kind of clogs up. And really, folks... I have not been this high during the day in a long time. And I know some of you, this is going to get six to nine thumbs down, maybe even more. So please, everybody, counteract that by thumb upping and let's beat them. But some people really get upset at me taking tokes, and others get upset at me when I don't. I have decided, you know, for the most part, I ignore the thumbs down now. They don't bother me. I've noticed very many of the good YouTubers, doesn't matter what, what genre, I have quite a few thumbs down. Some people just feel that they've got to have their say. <coughs> and I'm okay with that. But I'm already getting a little too high, my my friends, but I can tell you between this CBD patch, those couple of tokes already, this area is warmer. I can feel 
the connection with the pain. I can think past it. I knew that would die. That's how wet this is as a flower. It's very, very... It's funny, it comes out as really good shatter, but it's so sticky you'd expect it to be more waxy. Mm. So, but we're going to carry this on in the comments below, my friends, because throughout the day, as you talk to me, as other people watch this and go, oh, that was a couple hours ago. Uh, right now is 12.30 Mountain Time. Right now, 12.27 Mountain Time. Uh, around 2 o'clock, the, the edible will hit. And that's probably when I'm going to lay down. I may even lay down before then. Uh, but I'll keep talking with y'all in the comments below. And we will slowly decide, does this help? I really need to give it rest. I really need to get back to... resting it up and see if this really works. I really think that I medicate that. Remember, all week long I've had the pain, but I've had my my son after school every single day this week, and some nights a little later than usual, and uh, and overnight last nights. And when he's around, I almost never touch this stuff. And if I do, I go outside. So, and it's been cold. <laughs> so. Here I am, folks. I am getting pretty high already. The pain is nicer. That's the THC. The CBD is going to deflame this and maybe get me more movement. And therein lays the rub. I get more movement. I'll move more. And I have to not do that. I have to get past the tendency to say, Oh, it doesn't hurt. I can lift something. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to baby it for the next 24 hours because I don't want to go to the hospital, folks. I don't like doing that. And during the week, I'm just too busy with my little boy to take the time for me to go to a doctor. But maybe I have to. Anyways, friends, peace, cheers, love and harmony, and Look for someone without a smile. Give them one of yours. It's a beautiful one. I love looking at it. Peace.